So I'm gonna give y'all a uh, service truck tour. There's been a lot of people request this video here, so we're about to get into it and I'll kind of discuss them. We got two of them. So all the way up till uh, gosh, we ran we ran two service trucks forever. We had uh, two uh, 550 Fords, and we ran one of them had a flatbed on it. The other one had that IMT bed on it that's on that truck over there. And then we went. Derek wrecked the one of the 550s. He had a guy pull out in front of him one morning, just up from the shop. Derek T-boned him, and I mean destroyed that truck. And so we took. Pulled the bed off it. Like I said, it was just an old flatbed. That's all it was. Nothing to it. And we went and bought a uh, F650 with a IMT bed and crane on it. It was okay. And I'll get in the beds here in a little bit more. We ran it up till, uh, well, our 550 Ford went down two years ago, 2018. Uh, motor blowed up in it. It was a 01 model, had that bed right there on it, that IMT bed on it. So we were about in a bind, because that F650, it wasn't hitting on much either. And we took and uh, we bought this one in 18. About this time of year, November, December 18. And this is a 2015. It had been sitting on the lot for three years and had not sold. And probably because it had a regular cab on it, not a crew cab on it, but it's a Ram 5500, and we were able to get a uh, killer deal on it. This one has a maintainer bed on it, and so we sprung and bought this one, and it's just a regular cab on it. It's all it is, nothing, nothing special. It's uh, of course they're they're both of them four wheel drive. So we've got on this one here currently, it's got 42,000 miles on it. The maintainer bed, I'm not knocking IMT, that's a dominator bed, but it's nowhere near what this maintainer bed is. This maintainer, we bought it, it's got an Ingersoll ran compressor in it that was uh, in it there that came with it too. The maintainer stuff is just, it's good stuff. I am not kidding you, it's uh, the quality of it's really, really good. The, you can cut the compressor on and off right here. One cool thing about the maintainers, and a lot of beds now have this, is they have those fans on them on each side. And what that does is, when you crank the truck up, it puts pressure, the fan blows through these boxes right here, and it puts pressure in there. And it don't let any dust, like when you're driving in the road, no dust gets inside these boxes. Very nice. Uh, tool trays and they lock when you pull them out you can't push them back in unless you undo them those that's very very nice you can crank the compressor and all that stuff right there you don't have to get up on it and chokes right there not a fan of those kind of compressors they're okay i'll get into that more too on the other truck because we're going to put a v-mac on the other truck we've actually got it ordered for it and no they didn't send it to me we buying it this is another tools. This is just all tools, wrenches, everything uh, in here. Like these, these boxes are the same way. They lock out so they won't slide back in. Just lots of tools in them. They're just completely full, even big wrenches. With some of the stuff we mess with. And you notice there's no dust in them either. That's due to that fan blowing. The doors are nice and heavy. Doors, good shocks on them. Love the latches on them. They're just good beds, man. They're built well. It's got stuff. Derek drives this truck right here. So we went without two service trucks for two years and we just couldn't afford to get another one. Things have been so tough that uh, we just, we couldn't spring to get one. 
so uh, about two or three months ago we decided to go ahead and start looking and we bought that other truck over there because we we kind of need it it takes two to kind of make us run but we we did it on one for about two years because we burn a lot of fuel you got storage in a bumper right there and the air hose right there for the air comes out so fuel tanks right here and then in front of the fuel tank is the uh compressor this one's got well both of them have those newest style feel right pressure sensing pumps on them nor on our older feel rights the high flow ones we were only getting about a year of life out of them that one right there has been on the truck for a year and almost four months now we put it on in august of last year and it's done really well we run a 50 foot hose which is actually a little bit too long because it has to push that fuel a long, long ways. But it's okay. Got a reel on it right there. Uh, had the tank custom built right there too for the truck. We keep a ladder in here. Uh, hydraulic oil is up there in the top right box. There's another ladder right there. You've got to have them on these track machines. And then we keep uh, tractor hydraulic fluid right here in gallon jugs there and keep a bobcat here on this one here this one when we bought the f650 it had this brand new bobcat on it and uh one day we had tommy those y'all have been around for a while now tommy not too slick on uh operating things or things go to happen and one of our winches he's winching dad out and and the winch hung on and he kind of panicked and it sucked the service truck up into the back of the uh skitter and when it did it it caught this and that it's a wonder it didn't destroy the whole service truck so uh, we got lucky on that but this was a brand new uh brand new bobcat right here we've got two bobcats but we don't have the other one on that service truck over there this titan tank right here is a 40 gallon def transfer system is what it is so we carry 40 gallons of def on the truck we transfer and it pumps out we have a big tote at the shop that we pump out of and pump into this thing this thing's actually really nice i forget what we paid for this thing but uh it's pretty nice the way it's set up here do not like having a fuel loo trailer having to tow them in and out of the woods we've done that before for some people it works for us it does not work at all got a wilton vice so they can get the fuel nozzle out of, the, out of my machine but as i was saying wilton vice on this one Just storage and we keep all kind of stuff in each side and all these, we still hadn't we had a lot of stuff on this truck we still hadn't got everything moved over quite to that truck all yet and everything on it the way we want it it's all our grease um, antifreeze water gear oil all these are nothing but o-ring kits if you're gonna log you got to have quite a few different o-ring kits and then even still you need a bottle of super glue where you can cut o-rings and fit them because you may not have the right one My air conditioner stuff right there oh, did that wrong tim that one gets closed first love the latches on these easy to grab these handles here we keep hoses and stuff over here on uh, this side and a bunch of other different stuff in here too three-quarter ratchet and all that stuff like that we got uh, oxygen acetylene right here 
we don't use it uh, very much, but we got it if we need it right there. It's pretty handy. We've already had to put uh, brakes on this one here. Uh, it's been back during the summer. We put a set of brakes on it. That already wore down. Truck's actually loaded a little bit heavy to the back, but it's okay. The 5500s uh, make a really, really good service trucks. Uh, they do a uh, do a fantastic job. And you can see the fan on this side on top of the uh, boxes right there where it's mounted at. But uh, really like the the maintainer bed uh, quite a good bit more than the uh, IMT bed. And I mean the IMT is a good bed, but it's not near the quality of the uh, maintainer right there we we don't really need a crane if we're gonna run a crane you know we have jay or whatever you know to to take care of that for us and, and so really no needing us hauling a crane around all the time that if uh f650 we had had a uh it had a crane on it half the time it didn't work or the controller wouldn't work it was just a big pain in the neck i mean it was uh it was more of a hassle than it was a help to us and that's the way it kind of goes if you don't use them all the time that stuff like it happens and they you know you have issues with them and, and all that but so we took about two months ago and got that truck right there so we took our bed which was the INT, we took it off our F550, unloaded it, and then took it off and set it on that truck right there. That's a 2020 over there is what that one is. Kevin's driving that one right there. That's a pretty nice truck right there. It's still the same work, work type truck as this one. The interior is just a little bit different than that one over there. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll do another video for that truck, but it was kind of weird that this one set at the dealer for uh three years without being uh sold and probably do the fact where it was just a regular cab but you got a lot of service mechanics like uh jay and that's what his is his is not even a four-wheel drive it's just a two-wheel drive a uh, regular cab me i prefer to i prefer the crew cab myself because of the extra room because i mean you can't really put anything you know inside the cab of this one right here over there on kevin's the one he's driving that 2020 you got more room in it uh they they were uh, Derek and all then our dad didn't he didn't want a crew cab but when we went back and bought another one that's what we went with was a crew cab right there and, and put it on it got that done let's see this truck come from columbus at the uh, waters uh truck and tractor that's where it come from that truck over there came from the uh, Ram dealer down in uh, Meridian down there. I can't even remember their name. We bought that truck and bought Kevin a 2500 at the same time. Kevin never had had a uh, pickup truck to drive a company truck. And so we bought both of them at the same time and uh, got, uh, got the, you know, so Kevin's got him a truck now to drive, a good truck to drive. It's, heavy duty he can pull a trailer with and ain't got to worry about it or anything like that and we got we got several more things going to 2020 i'll do a tour of it coming up in a day or so and i'll feature it in a video uh one thing that we don't have on either one of these trucks is uh hose machines we have two parker hose machines and we've gotten away from making our own hoses. We, we made our own hoses for almost 30 years. And we, we went through a spell there where we just had a lot of trouble making hoses and it was just oh, better for us just to get them made in town there. Sure, it costs us a little bit of time, but so we don't even have a hose machine on either one of these trucks. One of the hose machines was air operated the other one was electric and you plugged it into the uh, welder up there and ran it off of it a good machines and all but the hassle factor of uh keeping up with the amount of uh, hydraulic fittings that we had to keep up with 
a lot of these machines that we're running now are six wire machines and they're a little bit more they're a different animal to deal with so rather than stocking thousands and thousands of dollars worth of stuff we just quit doing it and go to town and get them made up so you can see that's why we need two service trucks because you got the 635 he just fuel kevin is fueling and Derek is fueling right there if we all hit the same day to fuel which is one service truck it wasn't it didn't have enough fuel to cover us all at one time so we were having to time it but now that we got both of them running it's it's a non-issue now so we can just fuel it doesn't matter who needs fuel or what we got enough fuel to get us by now <laughs> 